All right, guys, what up, what up, what up with the wheelhouse, baby? I hope you guys are doing good. Thursday morning, we got some jitters out there. We're going to take a look at some premium technicals to keep that spirit up. And I just want to say thank you very much for everybody that's been coming in the Discord, for all the comments on yesterday's video. If you didn't watch that video, um, you should. It's very quick. I put up the results from years of the beta testing on the system. Obviously, we're still building the system, and there's going to be continued beta. But I don't know if you actually noticed, but even though I showed you all that hundreds of millions of dollars, you guys might not have noticed when I had said that I started testing every single day through the last bull market, the accumulation phase, the participation phase, the distribution phase, and the bear market. And we went on and I showed you and showed you and showed you for a long time. Those were the trades from the bear market. Who loves you, baby? All right. Go watch that video uh, if you haven't. And um, let's get started. I'm going to go through some premium technicals. We're going to talk about um, potential problems with this Facebook. And, you know, if it is your first time on the channel, well, I appreciate you giving me your time. And um, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe, hit the like, and select all. If you're returning, welcome back. Shoot me a comment if you want me to do a technical on something. And don't forget to come in that Discord. It's free to come in. we got a great group of people in there. Everybody's like-minded, investors, traders, people learning, people growing, very intelligent, smart people, very cool vibe. Come on in. It's free. Good place to hang out. You're not alone. Support. And, um, you know, if you did want to upgrade, then you can just go up to the top corner, hit, hit subscribe, and, you know, you'll have the one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, and you get all the courses. You get the my chart stuff, indicators, settings, all that, and, uh, of course, you get the trade alerts. So, look, let's move forward. Now, let's just pretend for a second that I'm the teacher, okay? And because I'm about to beat my students, um, I need a witness. So, you're my witness, and I want to introduce you to my students over here. Their names are Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and uh, Doge. Okay. If... I was talking to Facebook as the teacher, I would say, get the F out of my class, you fail, you're done. You are the ugly girl at the dance, nobody wants to drink punch with you, you are like a wet dog in the rain looking inside wondering why, it's because you shit on the carpet. This is why I needed a witness. All right, let's talk about Google. Google, what's going on with you? Usually you do a little bit better. Now, you're not doing horrible, okay? You're not doing horrible, but you need to apply yourself, okay? And if you're having, you know, problems at home or, you know, something's going on in your life, we can always talk, but you're getting a C right now, and you might need to stay after class and get a little extra credit to bump that grade up. Microsoft? Okay, Microsoft, you're getting a B. But we're used to you getting A's and A pluses. So I want you to really focus and start doing better. I'd like to see the revenue, the earnings per share, the cloud um, revenues uh, going up. So, you know, just, just try to do better. And if you need me, I'm here for you. Now, I have another meeting with Amazon and Apple coming up. So I might need you as a witness for those. Okay. So let's go take a look at some indexes and let's see what the hell is going on. What the hell, man? Okay, so this is the Russell and the Russell's looking good. Gravy like SpaghettiOs, okay? So bullish, let me move it over in case my head's in the way. This is bullish, this is good. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is great, this is looking good great and there is no pink whale watching diamond okay everything on the russell looks good despite we're having some jittery earnings the russell looks like the rally is going to continue it's going to be volatile for sure you could feel it in the charts coming into the earnings with the big caps you can feel it you can tell it gets tentative in the afternoon the swings in the portfolios are are wild but just stick to your guns 
and we're going to hold right now. Trust me, I am going to put in a thumbnail abort. You, If you see abort in the morning, you click on that video, okay? Because, <laughs> because you know, I'm noticing that all these YouTubers and even the guys at JP Morgan and all these guys on Bloomberg, they're just now catching up to what I've been trying to tell you for two weeks. And we caught the rally from before it started. And now we're probably going to get out of it before they even know what's going on. So make sure you're on the channel. Make sure you're watching. And, um, you know, we're just going to crush the game like SEAL Team 6 over here, okay? You know, I say we're brain surgeons over here, but we're not dissecting frogs. We're dissecting charts. That's what we do. We're the chart doctors, okay? So Russell's looking cool. I got to move it kind of fast because I have Wheelhouse Wednesday tonight and... It's going to be a good one. Uh, we have discovered something. Well, my partner put something in front of me, and I put it on the chart, and I played with it for like three weeks, and I discovered something, basically an invention. It's not in any book, not in any college. You'll never be trained. Nobody's ever talked about it, and it has a sick, high win rate, super easy to trade, the style, this technique, and I'm going to be showing everybody tonight, and it's, it's a wheelhouse approved. I'm going to make courses on it as well. So... And I'm going to go through a lot of charts in this, so I'm going to move kind of quickly um, so that I can, you know, get prepared for the class tonight. Let's look at the Dow. I mean, who loves you, baby? I mean, what the hell? I mean, I told you about the pivot over here. And then I told you to hold. And I'm still sticking to that. And you're still in, and we're still rolling, okay? It's going to be a little bumpy, but there's the whale buy. This is when I said pivot buy. Got a little crazy. I said hold, just trust the system, and boom, run it, and look at it go. Look at it go. It's not saying get out. This doesn't say 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 get out. Like, if anything, it says stay in, okay? Remember, markets are set up to scare you freak you out and overreact, okay? I'm here to, you know, basically, you know, I'm like your walking Xanax. I'm just going to keep you calm and tell you we're going to be okay. But if you see a thumbnail in the morning that says abort, click on that video because it's, I will not put abort in the thumbnail unless I am worried and right now I'm not. The spy, spy looks good, says stay in, don't trip. The dollar, dollar's coming down. That's cool. NASDAQ. <clears throat> NASDAQ's still okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, everything's cool on the NASDAQ. The only thing about the NASDAQ is it went down 2.04% today, and you can see it in this push down on the wick. It actually pushed the body below this old pivot low. So we'll keep an eye on that. That's the weakest looking one out of them. And the VIX, I'll just tell you, being at 27 is good. I mean, you can see it coming down. So I made a little watch list called Bullish, okay? I'm not going to, you know, go through all the, the crazy stuff going on in the, in the bad ones, but I made an alert just a little bit ago, and I had said in that alert, just being funny, I said, I never thought in my entire life in a million years that Dogecoin would be protecting me in after hours from Facebook. Let's just take a look at Dogecoin and see what's cracking off. Oh, who called Dogecoin? Who's been telling you in multiple videos for two weeks about Dogecoin and making all those alerts? Told you it was going to pop. That's what's so sick about our system. You can see before anybody else can see. It's so cool. Look at that. I mean, that's the hourly, guys. I mean, what the hell? Green lights to the beach, baby. Okay? Dogecoin. Oh, man, this is like popping off. Okay, let's move on. Ethereum. Been saying it. I've been buying it. And I bought a bunch down here at 1,000. Had a limit order. And I bought a little bit more through here, you know. I, I have a lot of Ethereum. So if Ethereum goes down really hard... You might see like tears rolling down my eyes because I, I do have a lot of it. And um, and I'm very happy to have a lot of it because I believe in it. And it's, you know, <clears throat> when I had sold my house and got all my money back on my, you know, large estate, my waterfront estate, there were certain things that I wanted to be heavy in. And Ethereum was in that small, small list. Um, so 
They put a lot in there. Sushi Swap. Well, you're up almost 70% now. Who loves you, baby? Told you to get it at 102. Made 20, 20 videos. Still rolling. Okay, J Nug is another one I had mentioned to you. J Nug's looking good. Look at that. It is bounce higher. There's a whale buy. This is gold, triple leverage. Let's look on the hours. Looking good. Let's go down and see what's going on in the after hours. Looking good. Let's move forward. CRISPR. CRISPR had an, has an earnings coming up. But CRISPR has this big old donkey candle coming in. All your indicators are looking good. And I happened to just peek it out on the one hour earlier. And it's building some momentum and some strength in the after hours and today. Look at this candle. Boom. CRISPR's uh, looking good. Now, on top of CRISPR, so is Edit. Okay, Edit is also in that same um, type of field, okay, same sector and industry group. And Edit is looking good, and that's a support. And that was the bounce, and this is so that's a, a breakout, a retest, and a bounce. That's really good. And what's also good about Edit that I want to point out is that this is blue, okay? You're coming into earnings, so keep an eye. All indicators look good. Sheba, I called it. I said, you know, Sheba's looking good. I even made videos about it in the last, you know, few days. Sheba, it's looking good. Okay, Visa, you know, I own Visa, just 100 shares. I bought it a while ago, and um, it's been a good couple days for Visa, uh, for sure. But yeah, institutional buy here, triangle, fat finger, triangle, triangle, more institutional buying, earnings were off the hook. They're giving up, uh, they're, you know, doing buybacks or uh, upgrading their dividend. This is good. And if you don't own Visa and you want the dividend, let's just check and see when the ex-dividend date is. November 9th. So you can get in Visa and collect that dividend. Visa is a good company, guys. Um, okay, real quick, just on Visa before I move forward. So Visa is a good company. Visa had a lot of credit card usage based on travel. They're taking care of their investors with buybacks and an increased dividend. Um, but because people are traveling and using the credit cards, that's great data, that's great intel for us, but it also might be bad for inflation. So, But we need the data and we need to be aware of it, okay? So Energy U, this is a big one I play. This one moves big. Um, it's 592 a share. It's one of my favorites. I, I swing it um, like a beast and uh, had a breakout and went up 22 bucks again today. Usually it does anywhere. That's low for this. It goes it's usually like 20 to 70 bucks a day on this thing. So this thing is solid. This is like you could actually swing it or you could hold it because you have the green lights indicator. Zcash, crypto, I'm moving around guys. I told you guys in the other videos, this was a perfect bottoming process and it was gonna take off and here we go. Who loves you, baby? All right, so there it is. <clears throat> ah, boom, 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 off we go. Like I explained in the video the other day, okay? It's been a while since I've got to bring this one up in a video. DraftKings, DraftKings, has made a move to bullish on the daily. What the hell, man? Look at this. Look at this. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on? It's made it all the way to the daily. Right off a of support bounce. Boom! And that just went blue behind it. So maybe we'll get our money back on DraftKings. Bitcoin. Bitcoin just looks good. For all you guys who are thinking about like shorting Bitcoin and all this, I'm just going to tell you, <laughs> get in my group and let me tell you when to short and when to long. Um, we want to we want to stay long right now. This is this is a this is really like looking like it's going to go up a lot further. Um, yeah, we have some resistances, 22579. I mean, this area of 25,194 is. Um, you know, it's going to be a level and, you know, I, I'll just say it in this video, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, we're going to, we're probably going to go to 22441 for sure, but I just think that the way everything is lining up that we're going to go to 25,148 and I just want to tell you something about <clears throat> the stock market and the crypto market. So right now, the crypto market's looking better. I can just see it. I just know what's going on. Okay. The reason 
And I have not seen this on TV. I've not seen any YouTuber talk about this. I have not read this anywhere. This is just, you know, what I'm thinking. Okay. The stock market is crazy. It's erratic and it's based on we're in earnings season. Every quarter there needs to be earnings, okay? And there needs to be growth. The crypto market doesn't have earnings season. So it's got a lot less drama going on inside of it. So I think a lot of people are just like fed up with the stock market drama and being tied to all the global BS. And they're just getting into this crypto on these bottoms. And dude, I'm bullish. I'm bullish on crypto right now. I'm not, I'll let you know if you see a thumbnail that says abort, you click that damn video. Trust me. Bitcoin's cool right now. Just let it ride, man. Don't do anything. But hold or buy more or whatever, but don't, don't freak out about it. Um, Ethereum Classic, remember I was like, hey, give it another day, it was right here, and then I made another video, oh, I deleted it out of the video, sorry. Um, there was a second day and now it's going up, so you, you're clear, you got a green light from your captain on that. Adam, Adam is just moving slow, but it's about to pop, I can feel it. This one is ready to make you some quick money, couple grand at least. Charge point, it's time to buy charge point right now. You got the perfect sync. This is crashing at the right angle. It's a bounce off support with a bigger candle behind. Looks good. Okay. Sun run. Sun run. Um, same thing. This is coming in and it's making a higher low and big candle follow through into earnings. And that's in the energy sector, just so you know. Here's another one that I own that's in the energy sector, ERX. And this thing is banging. I mean, it's literally on fire, okay? If you can't afford energy, you, you know, try to pick up a little bit of this ERX. Look at that breakout, too, and it helped. Netflix. Netflix has been good to me lately. Netflix is bullish to the daily with the green lights, looking good. Algorand, who called it? 30 cents. I was like, yo, I'm getting in early. Boom, look at Algorand up at 34 cents now. Maddox told you the breakout was at 94. We bought it at 71.72. I've been saying it for a month on the channel. Still going. That's a hold. Stay in. You can actually buy more above and scale in more over the break. Avalanche, looking good. Another one I really like. Let's back that up. And we're right on the line. We're having problems getting through this resistance of 1712. Can you verify that? Yeah, about 1718, 1712. Robinhood, out of nowhere. Robinhood is looking bullish. It's at 11 bucks right now. That's a one hour. That's a four hour. Let's see what's going on in the after hours of five minute. Yeah, coming down a little flat. A little uncertainty because of the earnings, right? Ave had a huge push up, a huge push up, okay? And you can see it right here. Boom, big push up, and it's just kind of, it went up, it's come down, but it's just going sideways uh, for right now. We, we do need to see a little momentum, get this red one down, get this green one up, and get the blue candles to push, but I'm holding. That's a hold for me. Mana, uh, I told you, uh, I think it was like 62 cents or something like that. 60 or 62, I can't remember. And, you know, we're not moving very fast on Mana, but Mana just got its first momentum candle. Okay? And if you, you just kind of take a look, at, it, it kind of like went through all this, and it kind of pivoted and went sideways, and it's just starting to move, okay? Um, CCJ, this is one me and my buddy Alfonso... Uh, we're playing with like, I don't know if that was a year or two years ago, um, and he might have found it actually for us, and uh, I've played it so many times. Every once in a while when you're a trader or an investor or you're in the markets for a long time, you, you have certain stocks or cryptos that like kind of inside you feel like are lucky stocks. This CCJ, I don't think I've ever taken a loss on it. It's just one of those lucky ones for me that I, I hit and then it booms every time that I get it. So um, <clears throat> CCJ is looking really good uh, right now. On Semiconductor, I've mentioned it multiple times. Bounce off the 200, bullish. Solana, hey, we were just down at what, like 28 or something? And <clears throat> let's go see what happened here. We came all the way down. We came all the way to 2684, so about 27 bucks. Crazy. And then I bought more. Remember, I told you I bought more. Got my average down to about 30. And now, instead of being under, because we were at 2920 when I made that video, I was at a small loss, and now I'm at a gain. 
So, yeah, Solana's looking good. That is definitely a hold right now. Always we find resistance at that 35 area, though, right over in here. 35, yeah, about 35.60. So just, you know, watch that zone. Um, I am, I'm kind of itching to own this one. I want to buy 100 shares of this, and I just feel like an idiot because it went up over 20 bucks yesterday. It went up today, and I wanted to buy it three days ago. And I'm just like, oh, my God, this thing's getting away from me. This is uh, MicroStrategies. <clears throat> it's correlated well with Bitcoin, and it's a derivative is, um, you know, how I would look at it. And um, obviously, it's not too late. I mean, this thing was up at 1349 bucks up here at the top. This is more realistic, 889 um, So, yeah, I guess I'm not too late. But, yeah, I, I, I need to do that. I need to pick up 100 shares of that for sure. Um, Dash. Looks boring, but Dash is starting its move. Okay, this is Crypto Dash, not DoorDash. Hit the hit the pivot, boom. If you notice all the ones that have been doing this and looking this way, and I show you in the videos, they all launch within like 48 hours after. Um, FedEx, I put it in here. I know FedEx has been wrecked, but you know you're kind of um, you, you you know you got knocked in the dirt. This went blue, it curved, and you're kind of you know coiling. Um, your volume is kind of building pressure and it looks to me like FedEx is, you, you kind of got like a bottom right here, a local bottom at least, and, um, looks like you're about to launch on FedEx. So this is one that I own too and I just don't even talk about it because now Link, I love Link, um, Chainlink's looking good, guys. Chainlink's looking good. You just hold that sucker, okay? Everything's good on Chainlink. Chevron. Um, look at that thing. Boom. Breakout. Chevron's looking good. JP Morgan. Looking good. Plus the green lights. Pfizer, one that I recently picked up, has our earnings and dividend coming up. And Pfizer's looking really good. Tesla is actually bullish. I know everybody's like, oh, it's bearish, it's bearish. But everything is syncing up. It just synced up. You just got the blue here. And it's a bounce off the 206 where I bought it. And the other spot I bought it before was was here and the other spot I bought it was here. So it's it's leveling up is what's going on. Goldman Sachs looking good. Uh Chili's. Uh, did they turn off the air conditioner? It's getting hot here. Hold on. They get cold, I get hot. Yeah, they turned it up. I told them not to do that. Okay. Um Chili's Looking good. I mean, I've been telling you, like, this was a good time to, to buy more. You know, it, it broke out and it failed. And then over here, you know, last few videos, I, I was like, yo, we need to, you know, this is the time we want to buy more or get in for the first time. Johnson Johnson, looking good. I mean, that's that's a leader. You're above the 200. You got your green lights indicator. Looking solid. Walmart, same thing. That's a go. Cardano, that's a go. <laughs> we were at 35 cents. I go, Cardano's about to push. Look at it now. Who loves you, baby? Look at it now. Polkadot. Uh, Polkadot's looking really good. Um, in fact, I'm going to be putting more money into Polkadot because it's looking so good. Okay. McDonald's, like Walmart, and Johnson Johnson do great in recessions. Look at that beautiful bounce. Walmart, or excuse me, McDonald's is looking good. Guys, there's a ton of them in here. I mean, everything. I mean, these are all like bullish. Antero Resources, Disney. Look at Disney off off of my bounce there. Perfect. ARKK. Look at that bounce. Home Depot is looking great. It's like a triple bottom. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Lucid out of nowhere. Check this out. Lucid out of nowhere. Boom. Breakout and holding. Okay, that's good. Eight coin. Um, up since my last purchase, uh, and which was down in here, and boom, okay. CrowdStrike looking good. CrowdStrike moving back to bullish on the daily. That's really good. A firm is looking good. This is what I'm trying to get out of uh, once I can get back to even. And I don't really want to buy more. I'm close. I need to get over this line to get out of it, and I don't have a lot. So, um, yeah, I'm close. So a firm looking good. Square, what did I tell you guys about Square on the channel? Remember I walked you through, I said, what do you see, what do you see, blah, 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 blah. Well, look. 
what we saw and what I explained happened exactly, didn't it? Have, it literally happened exactly, didn't it? There it is. And off to the races. It's not going any lower unless they do a, a Facebook on uh, their earnings coming up. Roblox looking good with the green lights indicator pressing on the 200 on the daily. Roblox has got some game lately. Like Roblox has just changed directions and running. So that's cool. Micron, I noticed Micron went um, basically bullish to the daily. You got your cloud, your HMA, and your green lights. All indicators show it's going to go up. We do need to get above this, but looking good. PayPal, it's got a nice bounce. Another one I own. Boom, it's bouncing. Uh, Qualcomm, I put it in here for you. Um, looks like it's going to turn bullish. Adobe, you know, I, I'm just so stoked. I got that at the perfect wick on the perfect day, perfect candle, and boom, it's running. Palantir has the green lights indicator on the daily, and it had a breakout. And I made alerts about it. Had a breakout, failed, but it's back on the line. Okay. DFEN, I brought it up on the channel. Defense just still going up, guys. Coinbase, um, looking good. Coinbase is actually looking good. If you were going to uh, roll Coinbase, you know, it would have been probably a little better to get it in that 65, 63, 66 area. But, hey, you're not that far off, and, you know, crypto is about to run. Like I said, like, there's no drama in the crypto space like there is in the stock market. So, with the earnings and whatnot. So, Coin is kind of cool right now. Um, they do have their fair share of problems, but maybe you swing it. Here's Apple looking hella bullish, but they have earnings. So, look, guys, if Apple doesn't hold us up and Amazon, you know, I, I don't know. The market's probably gonna, probably just gonna decide to make a lower high and, and dump on us, just to be real, because you know Microsoft's kind of flat. Google wasn't horrible, but like, you know, they're, they're feeling it on their advertising money's coming in and they're tightening their belt on advertising going out, like on YouTube channels and stuff. And then, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not horrible, but, um, Facebook, you know, they got more subscribers, but their revenues down and it just looks bleak for the future for them for a long time. That's why it's so far down on the after hours. SoFi. You know, bounce, bounce, long grind, and off we go, finally getting some love. But I hate that it just started to go up and it's already coming down like that. That's what happens with companies that are, um, that basically are like the super small caps. And this one is like attached to Biden. Like Biden pretty much screwed me over. I have a lot of money in SoFi. And then he came out and he was like, he made it a political thing. We're going to keep the student loans at bay, you know? And then boom, SoFi got wrecked. And then right when that was supposed to extend, he knocked it down again and it got wrecked. So he, he keeps like screwing with me and I've just been holding this whole time. Uh, and I have a lot of this, way more than I, I mean, I can literally buy like something significant with the amount of money I have in SoFi. So we need to get my money back. So if anybody could just call the little man in the blue suit and let him know to like stop fucking with so excuse me <laughs> stop messing with SoFi, uh yeah that'd be cool. So Hut Mining's looking good. I really like Hut right now. Um, it's inexpensive and looking good. Nvidia's making a turn, guys. Whichever way you want to look at it, Nvidia's turning north. Okay, Sam Boston Beer looking good and Mara looking good. Look, let's end it there. I got to get ready for the Wheelhouse Wednesday. Try to give you a little selection of some stocks and some cryptos. Really appreciate you tuning in. Really appreciate you watching to the end. Come in the Discord. Hang out. Show the love. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Select all. Come on into that Discord. Let's grow. Let's learn. And let's get through it together. I am your captain, and I will help navigate you through the hurricanes of these seas. Make sure you don't go overboard and drown. And uh, even if you do, you'll have a support group and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get you back in the boat. Make sure you got a warm blanket and you're good to go. So I appreciate you. My name is Chris and welcome to the wheelhouse.